beliefs. And so every state is different and the nuances get very specific very quickly. I think the takeaway is that the solar industry, uh, especially the rooftop solar industry in this regard, went through its own set of learning and growing. And, and it's now at a place where, no, but sure, you know, in every industry there might be someone out there trying to make an extra buck uh, disingenuously. But, it, but in this case, you've got these really robust uh, companies across the country who are now able to sit down and provide more details about what it means and, and to, to sign up for solar. And states are getting. Um, have gotten uh, protective of customers and put in place rules that are intended to ensure that to the extent these things have happened kind of in the early adoption days, that that's not no longer the case. Well, early adoption, well, briefly, we're up against it pretty briefly. Yes, I'd say the issue is if you can buy it instead of lease it, you're often better off to do it. If you can get a loan to buy it uh, rather than cash up front, you're even better off. And I'd also say read the fine print. I was a really early adopter in the 1990s with solar panels on my roof, and I learned an awful lot. To the point, we have come a long way, um, but people just need to read the fine print. Time for a quick break. When we come back, we'll get to that question we had at the very beginning of the program about coal miners and the effect the solar industry has on them. In just a moment, we'll meet an entrepreneur in West Virginia who's trying to bring solar jobs to communities that are hit hard by the decline of coal. Stay close. <laughs> Democracy is disrupted. Social media and the internet have realized the hopes and fears of many. The old rules about the role of political parties, the government, and how to get elected no longer seem to apply. We'll debate how the democratic norms on which our freedoms depend can survive the internet. Next hour on 1A. That is the second hour of this morning's 1A. It's about 20 minutes at 10 o'clock, right here on 895 WIJ, WIJ.org. Your support for this morning's 1A comes from Aurora Green Fest Celebration of Sustainable Living. Ten family activities include solar ovens, pizzas, owls and eagles, music, and more. AuroraGreenFest.com. We have the National Geographic Conservation Photographer, Paul Nicholson, who specializes in...